uh, good afternoon. Uh, I will talk about our uh, uh, work, uh, name the leaf, a data a cache and a set system across uh, a remote sites. Here is the uh, online uh, background and the motivations, architecture and implementations, and uh, finally I give some evaluation results. And uh, nowadays, uh, distributed computer systems is widely used in high energy physics. For example, WSCG is one of the largest systems in the world. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, more than six uh, thousand, uh, six hundred thousand CPU cores, and uh, three hundred petabyte disk, and uh, three uh, hundred petabyte tape. Uh, but each set has dedicated people taking care of the systems. And the best grid is a grid in China uh, for best three and other environments. And the uh, best grid uses uh, direct as it made well and uh, has 18 sites from same countries. Most of the sites uh, don't have dedicated uh, administrators. And the public clouds, uh, public clouds are gradually popular in help, for example, uh, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, and Alibaba in China. Uh, in uh, computing, uh, distributed uh, uh, computing models, the job is usually scheduled to uh, set where the input data were pre-staged in using fast transfer system. Uh, if one set doesn't have enough storage space, the CPU couldn't be fully used, so uh, the efficiency is not uh, is is not, and uh, 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 a set manager decides which data will be transferred, so the model is not flexible. Uh, uh, we all know virtual machines can be uh, created in public cloud on demand, but uh, a analysis job can't run without input data. So uh, maybe it's difficult to work in dynamic cloud environment. In this model, uh, maybe uh, too much data is transferred. The whole file is transferred to a remote set, but a user job uh, only is usually interested in a few of events in the file. I will uh, uh, mention it uh, uh, later. Uh, what, what we do is uh, present uh, the same file system view at the local and the remote set. Then application can run everywhere. Uh, the application can open read read data directly on the remote sites. Uh, of course, uh, there should be a sufficient uh, uh, network bandwidth. Uh, uh, we want to mount file systems directly in the remote site, for example, uh, LAS and the US. Here is, uh, uh, is the architecture, is a main set of storage, uh, and the remote set may be uh, is a cloud uh, virtual machines. But uh, they, are, uh, they, don't use, uh, uh, they don't have uh, enough storage, so we can mount uh, the file system on the remote. Uh, here I will uh, mention uh, about uh, a little about uh, LUD proxy. Uh, there are two types of uh, two types of LUD proxy. One is uh, standard pro uh, standard proxy service. It is uh, primarily uh, intended to be used for line access to bridge firewalls for remote clients. Another type is a data cache proxy. Uh, it is intended to prove uh, when access as it is able to catch file or part of file on this at a remote location. Uh, and we can use LUDFS to mount the file systems. Uh, on the remote side, uh, there's no storage, but the client can access the, the main side through the LUD proxy. We use the uh, LUD proxy maybe uh, later. And uh, uh, WAN uh, has three major performance uh, indicators, latency, throughput, packet, mode, uh, packet loss. And the throughput is not only decided by bandwidth. TCP pro, uh, throughput is directly impacted by latency and uh, packet loss. We can see this picture shows the t TCP throughput uh, will uh, decrease uh, in the case of high latency and uh, uh, high uh, packet loss. Here is a result uh, uh, from uh, Arya's work. 
and uh, because of uh, uh, the the fast systems uh, use uh, uh, work uh, uh, over wine, so the performance is impacted by the uh, by the wine performance. Uh, high latency is uh, uh, in, in, inevitable over wine. For them, from I have to serum uh, about 350 microseconds. And uh, in two cities from Beijing to Chengdu, about uh, uh, 35 microseconds. And we use a TC uh, tool uh, in the leaders to stimulate lateral latency. We can see the performance is uh, decreased as latency becomes higher. Here is a result of last uh, uh, from uh, to uh, in the case of uh, 100 uh, microseconds, uh, the performance is decreased by 97 uh, percent. Here is a U.S. file systems uh, in the case of 100 microseconds, and the performance is decreased by 99. So we can see in the high latency, the, this uh, file system uh, doesn't work. And our reason, uh, our reason includes this, uh, these points. Thin file systems will at the local and the remote sites. Uh, good assets uh, speed over wine. Client requests are served as soon as one small fraction of files is available before one whole file is fully downloaded. And it is portable, compatible, and scalable, and secure, and reliable. Our solution uh, includes uh, full metadata synchronization from main set uh, periodically, and data transfer technology, for example, including multi-stream, trunk, uh, long block, and so on. And use ADT protocol to go through firewalls, and use LOD framework and fuse to mount file systems. Here, the architecture. There are three uh, main components uh, in the systems, transfer D, cache D, and uh, LOD client plugin. Transfer D uh, uh, transfer data uh, from the main site and the remote site. Cache D uh, put the file in the uh, local disk and uh, put the metadata in the DBs. And LOD uh, interface to uh, uh, LOD FS, LOD proxy, and uh, the applications. And then I will uh, introduce these uh, components in detail. Uh, transfer, there are two components, transfer D and the client library. Transfer D is a daemon running at the main site, and the client library uh, is called by cache D. Transfer D uh, is based on Tornado uh, web uh, framework. This is a Python web framework and a synchronous network library. It is for the LAMP pro, uh, non blocking network IOs, suitable for long uh, pooling web sockets, long lived connection. If file transfer service receives a request, it will download or upload data using multi stream in parallel. And the client routines have these uh, parameter, uh, parameters, uh, file paths, file operations uh, mode offset, like uh, file systems. And it's easy, uh, it is easy to go through firewall using ATT protocols uh, because your client doesn't have public IP uh, behind the firewall. And uh, cache D, uh, there, are, uh, there are three uh, components, cache D, DB, client. Cache D is a daemon running at a remote site. DB stores file, man uh, file metadata and uh, bitmap. And the client uh, called by LOD client plugin. The KED will get all entries uh, periodically from main set once the exported file system is defined. And the DB supports a um, mass kill and uh, RAM clock currently. KED creates an empty file on a local disk once it receives the open request from the client. And the KED gets a fixed set uh, block currently one megabyte from offset specified by read operations. And cache D put the whole file in local disk, then upload, up, upload it to the main set later in case of read operation. Uh, here is the uh, open and read work, uh, workflow. Uh, if a client open a file, then the cache D check if it exists in cache. If yes, and return open it and return FD. If no, create an empty file in the local disk and uh, 
and return FD. Uh, uh, if the client read a file, uh, it first, uh, KED firstly check if it exists in cache. If yes, and return, uh, read the block and return the buffer. Uh, if the file is not, if the block is not in the cache, and uh, the KED will get a fixed uh, block and uh, modify the bitmap, then return the buffer. Here the red, uh, red workflow. If the client open uh, a file for read or create, uh, firstly the KD check it, if it exists in main set. Here is the main set. And uh, if yes, and return ER number because uh, the KD doesn't know to modify existing file in remote set. If the file is not uh, in uh, set, main set and the KD create entry in main set and the and then check if it uh, successful. If yes, and return FD. If no, and return ER number. Uh, then uh, the the application can read data uh, to the di uh, to the local disk after uh, the the, the read uh, finish and uh, close the local file and upload it to the main set. Then return OK. And uh, ROD client plugin uh, is uh, maybe the client for. Uh, for these systems, and uh, there are some uh, some work uh, should be uh, should be done. Uh, first, it check if the block is in the cache. If if not, it call KD to get the block from main set. Okay, and then return physical part to the file and get real data from this use ROD. And here we can uh, define ROD plugin uh, manager in the in, in, the, in, the, in the client uh, machines. And this work is in progress. Uh, here we can see the performance evaluations. Uh, the, uh, the, this, uh, uh, the evaluation is done uh, in, the, uh, in the line and use uh, T, TC simulations, uh, the, the latency. Uh, we can see the result decreased by uh, 31. Uh, is it is better than US and last in the case of 100 uh, microsecond. And we also uh, uh, set up uh, two, uh, two sites in China, in Beijing, and uh, class in Chengdu. Uh, we can see the, the performance is uh, get better with the increase of string number. And uh, in the, in the, if the number of string is 15, and uh, it can uh, use full uh, network uh, bandwidth. And uh, we, are, uh, uh, we are doing some uh, other works, uh, event level data transfer. It uh, depends on another work, event DB. Uh, event DB is an event level metadata system intended to discover and select events or interest to an uh, analysis. It stores event tags and its location in files and uh, export index file after selection. And data transfer service get events in parallel after it receives the request or event index. Uh, any transfer events or interest to, re to reduce the tra uh, traffic greatly. For example, uh, uh, about 0.1% uh, event or interest in best analysis, we can refer to these papers in ACAT 2013. Uh, here is a workflow uh, because I don't have uh, too much time, so I don't, I don't want to uh, explain it in detail. Okay, uh, uh, conclusion. Uh, dis distributed computing such as grid and cloud is widely used in high energy physical field and access data directly from remote set on demand will bring more flexi flexibility. LIF is an extension of main story systems which aims at improving data access performance over time. And it is implanting, uh, implemented as a ROD plugin uh, supporting most of HAB application transparently. And we are adding new uh, functions, for example, HTTP2 support, even the network transfer, and so on. Okay, that's all. Thank you.